determine whether the given value of k is a zero of the given polynomial. Well, to determine if this value is a zero, we have to evaluate the polynomial at that value and see if it happens to equal zero. And a way of doing that is to take advantage of the remainder theorem and evaluate the polynomial at two using synthetic division. So the coefficients are one, negative three, four, and negative four. So bring the one down, two times one is two. That adds up to negative one, that's negative two. Four minus two would give me two, two times two is four, and that last column does add to zero. So it checks out. So that tells me that uh, k equals two is a zero of f of x. All right, let's try the next one. f of x equals 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 9x plus 4 at k equals 1. So if I take 1 and use synthetic division with the polynomial, then bring the 2 down. 2 times 1 is 2. The sum of this column is negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, so then this is uh, negative 13. 1 times negative 13 is negative 13, so that adds up to negative 9. So f of 1 is equal to negative 9, and therefore it's not equal to 0, so therefore no, k equals 1 is not a 0 of f of x.